Professor Rob Huddart. I'm a, a professor at the Institute of Cancer Research in London. Uh, I specialise in uh, the treatment of bladder and testicular cancer and this particular presentation is regarding looking at adjuvant treatment in high-risk stage 1 non seminiferous germ cell tumours. Um, we're reporting results of a single arm phase 3 trial uh, which is looking at the use of a single cycle of BEP chemotherapy. Patients with a high risk non seminoma have about 50% chance of recurrence if they're just watched and then you, you can do that and then treat the patient at relapse usually with three cycles of BEP chemotherapy. Uh, data from the 1990s suggests that two cycles of BEP chemotherapy reduces the risk of recurrence to around about one or two percent and there's pretty conclusive and consistent data demonstrating that. The problem is by using adjuvant chemotherapy that way you end up giving a lot more chemotherapy to your whole total population. Um, there's data emerged over the last 10 years suggesting that two cycles of chemotherapy may be more than you need and a single cycle may be sufficient treatment uh, to cure most patients. So we set out to prospectively test that in this trial. Um, we've recruited 236 men with stage 1 um, high-risk non seminoma with vascular invasion and the patients were treated with a standard BEP chemotherapy schedule. We gave them prophylactic antibiotics and prophylactic GCSF to minimise the risk of neutropenia sepsis. And what we showed is we could safely deliver that treatment to the population. We had a very low neutropenic sepsis rate of 6%. The principal endpoint of the study was, this, was the, the rate of malignant recurrence. And out of that 236 patients, we had three malignant recurrences. The, the study was designed that we had less than six recurrences, then we would have 80% power to prove that we had a five, less than a 5% recurrence rate. So we were able to prove that uh, satisfactorily. In addition to the patients with the malignant recurrence, we also had a few patients who presented with teratoma differentiated, which was removed surgically. So a total of six recurrences within two years, and actually through the totality of the study, a total of seven recurrences. So we've shown that one cycle of BEP chemotherapy can achieve control rates similar to two cycles of BEP uh, and, uh, and can now be regarded as one of the standards of care for management of patients with this condition. The success rate for treating most, the vast majority of men with germ cell tumours is very high and a lot of the focus is actually on achieving the same level of control if, if possible to improving that but actually with fewer long-term side effects. The BEP chemotherapy we use has a number of long-term toxicities and in particular we're worried about the risk of long-term heart disease and long-term risk of second cancers. So it's a question of optimising treatment uh, to minimise the treatment burden for patients and looking for treatments which, are, which have less long-term effects. So I think the, uh, understanding the biology better so we can predict the patients who relapse when they have stage 1 disease, so we can focus adjuvant treatment to reduce the need for more intensive salvage treatment, um, trying to use a watching approach wherever possible uh, are, are key directions. In the patients with metastatic disease, uh, we need to know more about what makes the uh, germ cell tumours tick, so we can actually look at more targeted therapy and really in this avenue we, we haven't really got any strong targets at the moment to focus on we need the biological work to actually investigate that so that we can move away from, from multi-agent chemotherapy.